Hey guys, it's Paige Comfort Books, and I'm here to do another In My Mailbox. Last week, I didn't do an In My Mailbox because I didn't get any books. This week, I'm doing one because I got quite a few books. Most of them are from li most of them, all of them are library books except for one. Um, but it's alright because there's still books to show in my mailbox. But I got some thing from a tour that I'm going to show you first. Um... I recently was a part of Candace at Candace's book blog tour for H.B. Bolton's The Serpent's Ring. And so I got a little pack and I got this little box here that has the serpent ring cover. Oops. And it like just is a book all the way around. And if you open it up, there's this little gold ish thing inside with an R on it. And inside the box is a black and white cover of the book and then her signature on the back. Now, I read the book, and I enjoyed it, but for the life of me, I cannot think of what this is supposed to be. So, if you guys have read the book, and you remember enough to know what this is supposed to be, let me know, because I'm tr I've am been racking my brain since I got this little package, trying to think of what this little gold thing could be, but I have no clue. Um, and then I got a nice little card. Uh, and she wrote, Paige, thank you for being part of the Serpent's Ring tour. Bloggers are an important part of the success of a novel. I'm glad you're on board. Sincerely, Heidi Bolton. So, no, and it included a paper bookmark with her signature. A little mermaid down there. And then a business card. Which is cool. Glad to have it. I always love getting little surprises that have to do with books. And then next up are my books. The first book I got is something I won a few weeks back, and I won it from Lisa at, well, let me see, I think at Lisa at Turning Pages or something, yeah, Lisa at Turning Pages, um, came this little note from Lisa, this is Paige, I heart reading, thank you so much for entering my giveaway, and congrats on winning, I hope you enjoy your very own copy of Saving June. And, and that's all she wrote. And then she wrote a hard books again. And then she wrote her blog thing. Pretty cute. I love her handwriting. But yeah, this is what I got. I got an arc of Saving June. And I have already read this, but I've, I, I'm, I was saying I'd love to have a copy. So I signed up for some giveaways. I didn't I didn't know this was going to be an arc, which I'm kind of disappointed about. But I don't care because I like books. So I'm just glad to have a physical copy. I um, I did read this, though back when it came out, and I really, really enjoyed it. I love Hannah Harrington's writing. I actually just finished her second book, Speechless, last night, and it was so good. I'm going to put my video review up after I put this up, or before. I don't know which which way I'm going to do that yet, but it was so good, and my written review is going to go up tomorrow, so you can check both out if you want to, but I'm telling you right now, you're going to love both books because they're completely amazing. And then the last three books that I got this week are library books. I shouldn't have even been, I shouldn't have even stepped foot in the library, but I was at school and I had to stay after school for driving, um, and I had to wait in the library for like 20-30 minutes, and I sat down and I looked around and I was like, wow, there's a lot of books that I've wanted to read for a while in here, so I just browsed and I picked out three that I really, really, really wanted to read for a while. So the first one, which I started reading last night after I finished Speechless, is A Monster, a, a Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, and inspired by an I, blah, 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 inspired by an idea from Shaban Dowd, and um, I won't tell you what it's about because a lot of people should have already seen this book around, but it's pretty good so far. I'm only on, it doesn't tell me chapters, but I just, I'm on, I'm, I'm, let me show you, I'm that far. And I really like this book because of the cover, obviously. The illustrations are so cool. There's an illustration that I was looking at while I was in class today, and I was like, wow. Well, I'll find it and show it to you. It was really, really cool. I loved it. This one. I saw it in class, and I was like, whoa. Hmm. <laughs> Creepy, huh? There's, there's a few. There, every, every, I think every chapter, there's a full-page illustration. Which is cool. I like that. And then, like, some of the pages are just like this. It's creepy and cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, 
so that's this book. The second book that I picked up, actually, in order, technically, I'm going completely backwards because I picked this up last, the next book up second, and this one up first. But the second book, book I'm going to show you is Burn Mark by Laura Powell. And I was hesitant to pick it up at first because I knew I've seen it around and I knew I liked the cover. But I wasn't exactly sure what it was about at first, so I picked it up. And then I was about to put it back down, but then I was like, oh, let me read the thing. So I read it, and it said witches, and as soon as it said witches, I was like, damn, I'm getting it. So uh, that, and this cover is beautiful, don't you think? Like, I'm sorry there's a glare because of the plastic, but it's a ring and then a girl, and it just looks so cool. And then here's the back. On the side. It's pretty awesome. It's not too thick of a book. Neither of these books, none of these books are really that thick, thick, thick. Um, this is the biggest out of all of them at... 403, so it is pretty big, but not bad to where it's like 600 pages. But the last book I got, which is a book I got from NetGalley a long time ago that I never read. I don't know if you classify it as young adult. I think you might, but who knows. And that is Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wayne. And it's about Germany. I think it's like Nazis and stuff like that. Um, when the Holocaust was going on, I'm pretty sure. But this sounds and looks so good that when I saw it at the library, I scooped up it immediately. This is the first one I scooped up. This was actually on the new book shelf. And when I grabbed it, my, la my, blah, blah, my librarian was like, oh, what are you, I can't, I, are you grabbing that? I just put that up there like two seconds ago. I was like, yeah, I'm grabbing. She's like, well, I, I was hoping it'd be up there for a little bit longer for kids to see and stuff. I was like, oh, that's too bad because I'm grabbing it and I want it. <laughs> so I'm reading it soon. I'll be, Hopefully soon I'll be able to read it. I might pick this one up after I finish a Monster Calls, I'm not sure. Um, who knows. But anyway, that's all the books I got in my, in my mailbox this week. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.